right? The crux of this lawsuit is whether or not mayoral candidate Larry Turner is actually a resident of the city of San Diego, a requirement to run for the office. And while the attorney filing the suit says this is about the integrity of the election, Turner himself says it is politically motivated. This reign of error is over and they know it. San Diego police officer and mayoral candidate Larry Turner is dismissive of this new legal action to challenge his eligibility to run. This is just a ridiculous, uh, you know, move to try to sway people to vote for somebody else on March 5th. Attorney Bob Oddley, who is filing the suit on behalf of San Diego and Michelle Van Diver, says it is far more significant. Yeah. Election integrity is the thing that protects our democracy. And you may say it's a small deal. I'm not qualified to run for mayor because I don't live there, but that's not small. To run for elected office in San Diego, candidates must live in the city and be registered to vote for at least 30 days before filing nomination papers. Turner claims in his campaign disclosures to have lived in East Village and then later moved to Ocean Beach in November. But Audley says all publicly available information contradicts that from change of address forms to conversations with neighbors. There's no evidence out there that you did move, and there's a ton of resources that should show that. Every single database for all those issues and more shows his El Cajon address. That is not true. So I don't have a house in El Cajon. I have a house out by Alpine, and uh, I, no, I don't live there. My residence is in Ocean Beach. The lawsuit is asking the court to order that Turner's votes not count and that no election results be certified that include Turner's votes, claiming that Turner is not qualified based on his residency. And if you're not qualified to run for mayor, how are you going to be expected to lead our city and make the laws if you can't follow them in the first instance? If you really had something, a really good hit piece on somebody, you, know, you would probably wait until after March 5th because at that point, then it disqualifies the person. You wouldn't do it before March 5th. So in doing it before March 5th, it kind of tells you that there's really not a lot of meat to it. The top two vote getters in the March 5th primary will go on to the general election this November. Richard Allen, CBS 8.